Now you can see a difference today. I've been out hanging out with Mr. Longtail, of course in our Jeep, and here we're stopped, so we're not actually like moving right now, but uh, he's not as thrilled as Blackjack is about being up here in the shotgun. And Mr. Longtail, of course, is an alligator snapping turtle. And I'll show you. I was gonna get tall. Now, if you notice, see how tense he got? And he means business. He's not messing around. He will completely bite me. And I've never been bitten, but uh, be very careful. And he didn't get grumpy, um, and he's not grumpy, he's just bitey. He didn't get bitey until he was about a year and a half. And this is kind of a newer behavior for him. Well, he's close to three. He's close to three years old. And here you can see his worm tongue right there in his mouth kind of actually looks like a piece of gum and he can change the color of it like wiggle it around like it's got different I guess sections of it you can kind of see when he wiggles it he can make it red or more of a pink and he also I've noticed can make it kind of vanish like he'll put his tongue um, far back in his mouth so I guess the fish will kind of come into his mouth and looking for something to eat and of course not knowing that he's in the mouth of a snapping turtle. Oh my goodness. Kenny, our cat just jumped in the car. And Mr. Longtail, of course, alligator snapping turtle. Hey, Kenny, stop. My cat likes to sharpen his claws on the carpet of my Jeep. And that is, of course, unacceptable. See his tongue right there. Hey! Stop it. What we've got here. Kenny? No. Hey, don't do, especially don't do that in front of me. No. Anyway. Mr. Longtail. And Blackjack likes to be up here, my common snap internal. There you go, it's okay. It's a really, oh my goodness, you ruined my example. I was going to show you what he looks like with his mouth closed. He has a huge overbite with his beak. Are you getting tall and mad? I'm getting tall. When he gets mad, he gets tall. Like he raises up. And this is very uh, normal posturing for an uh, angry alligator snapping turtle. They raise up. See how he's very tense. And I don't blame him. Hey, stop, stop calling my car. We're supposed to be out here cleaning the uh, windows and inside of the Jeep, full of dust. Anyway, he stands up like this and they curl their tail around and lift it off the ground. And he stands really tall and they literally almost pull back and jump up in the air a little bit when they bite. And they're not biting to scare, they mean business and they will completely bite hard as they can. They don't really have a intermediate bite. They just literally bite the same pressure and uh, strength of the strike. Like they don't have a kind of like a nip. Like a common snapping turtle will have a little bit of a nip when they're in the water. They'll nip at things sometimes, but a alligator snapping turtle literally just does a full bite every time. Uh, I've never not seen them completely snap. And again, a common snapping turtle, which he's not, will have different bite 
types, but they only have one, and that is a full out um, complete strike. What's the matter? Do you not like the music? And the reason I'm holding him a little bit, I'm actually not holding him, I'm just kind of guiding him, is because he can swing around and get me, I think. Yeah, that is, and I think on the end, is that I've never actually had an alligator snapping turtle until they became available on the market as captive bred babies as he is one he's a captain bred and I got him from loggerhead acres and they're out in Missouri kind of outside of Branson a little bit and just for the record if anyone wonders if you have one from there an alligator snapping turtle baby or a bigger one from loggerhead acres turtle ranch and they get too big they will come up and get him or arrange for your turtle to be shipped back and they will keep him in one of their ponds that they have and you can visit him and they'll get you a smaller turtle in replacement if you want to just keep a smaller one because these guys do get big of course but they grow very slowly and my common snapping turtle I got the same time as him is almost three times bigger at least physically bigger. I'd say they almost close to weigh the same size. And Blackjack is my common snapper, of course. And he's this guy here, Mr. Longtail, very high strung, very irritable. And he's not irritable. I mean, I don't mean him any um, negative commentary, but he just doesn't like to be handled. He tolerates it. Like, I, I handle them every other day. I clean out their tank, and I pick them up, and I rinse them in the water. And I say about every third day, I will brush them a little bit with a, a soft brush, keep their shells clean. And they're really tolerant of that. But when they get into this posture, a lot of it is just completely dependent on their posture. And the posture is an aggressive posture where he's he feels really vulnerable. See how he's just... Way, hit, way high up. He's lifted off the ground. He's really tense. And they have longer limbs than a common snapping turtle. And I think on land that gives them a lot more maneuverability. I don't think that's the purpose of having longer limbs. But they maneuver and can slip around real quick like that and bite you. Or anything that was trying to hurt them. Or scare them or irritate them. And they almost kind of hop and my common snapping turtles, I mean, when I was a kid, they had wild caught ones, but of course never do that now, catch one in the wild. But common snapping turtles never behave like that for me ever that I've even seen with giant ones and, you know, all kinds of wild ones over the years. They don't have kind of the hopping ability. See how he's got his long legs. He stands up. Common snapping turtle would definitely bite me from this position. See, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? He jumped. That was a jump. And if I hadn't been touching his shell, he would have probably swung around and probably almost got me. But he does not like to be driven around like Blackjack does. Blackjack likes to ride around in the Jeep. super maneuverable which is surprising to me because the alligator snappers are a more aquatic species more so than the common snapper in fact I would say that alligator snapping turtles are one of the most aquatic freshwater turtles um, in North America oh I'm irritating you weren't I you can see his hook beak 
and you'll see a hook like that really common in turtles or animals that eat fish. They kind of use it as a well hook to hook the slippery fish. Alright, mister, I'll put you back in your water. 